Ian expected to make landfall in South Carolina just hours from now, bringing a life threatening storm surge and dangerous winds to the East Coast after gaining strength in the Atlantic. Here to provide an update from her state, South Carolina, Congresswoman Nancy Mace. Congresswoman, your district is Charleston. Your district is the low country. Yeah. How worried are you for what's about to come? We're very worried. This morning we have a nine foot high tide and we're expecting anywhere from five to seven foot storm surge. Um, and so when you have those kinds of conditions, it's not a matter of if the flooding is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. And downtown on the peninsula in Charleston is going to get a deluge. We've had rain all night. We're going to get another three to five inches this afternoon. And we're expecting winds to pick up, wind speeds to pick up uh, around noon with it making landfall around four o'clock today. We're already seeing uh, wind speeds sustained of 30 to 35 miles an hour. It'll get to 40 very shortly and go up from there at about 60 to 65 a mile power sustained winds later this afternoon. Well, President Biden has already approved South Carolina's emergency declaration, which means federal funds are going uh, to be on its way to supplement state and local. How critical is that for your state? Uh, particularly when it comes to flooding and the kind of rain and storm surge we're going to have today, it is going to be very much needed infrastructure. Uh, looking at the roads and bridges, even just last night crossing a bridge uh, was very windy, even in a very heavy SUV. But the cost of infrastructure along the coast of any state in the country is exorbitantly higher. And so we're going to need all the help we can get. I appreciate President Biden stepping up yesterday, not only for the state of Florida, but the state of South Carolina and other coastlines that are preparing. We're hunkered down here right now. I'm encouraging everyone, don't go in the water today. Don't go to the beach. Don't get in the ocean. We saw some really horrifying videos in Florida of people doing that. I'm asking people to stay home, stay safe. Um, and make sure that, that they stay off the roads today. We heard all week long about how well prepared Florida response teams were for this storm. Do you have the same confidence in the teams in your state? I do, and unfortunately, South Carolina, like Florida, we are no stranger to storms and hurricanes and other weather-related events. I'm very appreciative of Governor Henry McMaster, all of our local mayors here. We've all been in contact with one another and NOAA and the Weather Service. Um, everyone has been working around the clock, some people volunteering their time. I uh, went through all of our emergency operations centers yesterday, watching uh, folks that were coming in, working 24-7, and I just appreciate all of the first responders who are on the ground ready to serve our community today. Gosh, Congresswoman, just thinking about Charleston and how many historic homes there are there. And since Hurricane Hugo hit Charleston in 1989, there's been so much buildup along the coast. So, I mean, what kind of damage could we be looking at here? Well, this, my congressional district itself is the 10th fastest growing district in the nation. We've had an enormous amount of folks that have moved here in the development, only exacerbating our infrastructure issues. South Carolina as a whole during COVID-19 was in the top five states of people moving to. And so uh, when you're talking about that kind of growth and development, right. um, the flooding issues are going to be much more expensive today than they would have been two or three years ago. Congresswoman Mace, we're going to be thinking about you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.